We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles said President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is only fine-tuning the country's laws. This after the president has so far vetoed five bills such as the bill creating the Bulacan Airport City Special Zone, the bill strengthening the Office of the Government Corporate Council, the bill creating the Philippine Transportation Safety Board, and the measure expanding the franchise of Davao Light Power Corporation. The latest is the bill granting tax exemptions to the honoraria, allowances, and other benefits to election workers. Hindi po nagkaroon ng vote, ano, veto spree ang ating Pangulo. 41 law, bills lapsed into law and only 5 were vetoed. Hindi kasama dun sa 41. So it's not a spree. So tinotono lang naman ng ating Pangulo dun sa mga sistema yung mga batas natin. So, lalong-lalo na yung mga batas that involve some kind of tax break or tax benefits, itotono mo dun sa ating polisiya of tax reform. So, yun lang po yun. Hindi natin po tinatanggalan ng benepisyo ang mga poll, work, poll workers natin. Ang ginagawa po natin ay inaayos yung sistema without discounting the possibility na pwede pa rin silang bigyan ng ayuda. President Bongbong Marcos has appointed five undersecretaries and two assistant secretaries at the Department of Justice. Jesse Hermogenes Torres Andres, Jeronimo Lim C, Jose Ragus Cadiz Jr., Deo Lopez Marco, and Nicolas Felix Lopez T were appointed undersecretaries. Jose Arturo Reyes Malvar and Majken Anika Sotoya Gran Ong were named assistant secretaries. The DOJ said they received the special appointments on Tuesday afternoon. Meanwhile, Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles announced that Carlo Di Mayuga is appointed as acting chair of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, or MMDA. President Marcos also appointed his lead physician, Dr. Samuel Zacate, as chief of the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. Retired Brigadier General Roman Felix was appointed as Secretary of Office of the Presidential Advisor on Military Affairs and Major General Ariel Kakulitan as Undersecretary. General Isagani Neres, Undersecretary for Police Affairs and Attorney Nesaurio Firme as member of the Judicial and Bar Council. Newly appointed Commission on Elections Chairman George Irwin Garcia says he wants a new office building for his agency. Garcia said the fire that broke out at the Comelec headquarters in Intramuros, Manila over the weekend means it's high time for the Comelec to have a new building. He said in case the Comelec's next budget is approved by Congress, the new Comelec office building will cost about 8.2 billion pesos. The new Comelec office will be a green building with eight floors that will include a warehouse, the media center, and other facilities needed by the commission. Garcia said he is also pushing for the creation of an academy where personnel can learn about the Comelec processes as well as an office of the Comelec spokesperson. Transportation in Lanao del Norte will soon become safer, faster, and more efficient with road concreting and street lighting projects of the government. Lu Antonio filed this report. A total of 22 barangays in Kapatagan Town, Lanao del Norte, will benefit from various projects funded through the Capit Basic Against Poverty, Comprehensive and Integrated Delivery of Social Services or Kalahi Seeds Program of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Over 600 residents from Barangay Bagong Baljan in the same town will soon benefit from the concreting of access road that will ease transport of agricultural products. Dako kayo mi og kalipay ana labi na gyud sa katauhan kay dako kayo og ikatabang sa amo ang panginabuhian labi na gyud sa among mga anak sa pag-eskwela. Meanwhile, nine solar street lights will also be installed in Barangay San Isidro that will benefit more than 900 residents. So dako sila papil diin ang among natagamtaman nga mga proyekto gikan pa sa una san ay sa kalahi moy hinungdan nga ang mga barangay na enhance gyud ug nahimo gyud nga na empower ang katawhan pinaagi sa kalahi seeds for the PNA newsroom Lu Antonio of PIA Iligan City and Lano del Norte and that's the latest in the biggest stories from the PNA newsroom I am William Theo good evening everyone